Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Kristen and today we're working on another huge makeover here at my parents' house. You've seen me transform multiple rooms of their home already. Now we need to work on the downstairs powder room. This room is a little bit forgotten about, but it's such a high traffic area of the house and I think it could use a huge makeover. My parents really want this bathroom to be elegant, beautiful, and right now, I would say it's not really there yet. So we have a lot of work to do. I'm trying a ton of new things in today's video. So I hope doing all these DIY projects in this bathroom really inspires you to get started on your bathroom and update it the best you can. Make sure you guys stay tuned right to the end to see my parents' reaction to their new and improved space. Like always, if you enjoy watching, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and hit that like button and let's go ahead and jump right into it. This is definitely gonna be an extreme makeover. It's gonna be on a budget. We're not gonna do any demolition, but trust me, you're gonna see a huge change in here. So to start, we're removing all of the mixed matched items in here so we can start fresh and reimagine this room. The plan in here is to really make this space look a lot more elegant. And I think the best way to do that is by putting wall moldings in. I've never done this before, but I really think I can do it. I'm gonna actually extend the chair rail up to five and a half feet just to kind of extend the look of this room and make it look taller. I think it's gonna make it a little bit more dramatic as well. I'm super excited about this, a little nervous, but I think if I can do it, you guys can as well. So I'll kind of walk you guys through the process on how I'm gonna do it. So to help me visualize what this paneling was gonna look like, I used some painter's tape and taped up a pattern that I wanted to accomplish. This kind of allowed me to mess around with things and see how it was gonna work and fit. Then I went and measured the entire room in between windows and corners, all the little edges to figure out how much space I was actually working with. I put all of this information in my notebook so I could work from there. So to make my picture frame molding, I'm gonna be using painted fiberboard in a base cap style. That's a good size for this kind of picture frame molding and will really add a ton of detail to the walls. If you're not confident using power tools, this is definitely an easy way of cutting some wood. I'm only using the 90 degree cut and the 45s. You can get this whole set with the box and the saw for around $15. So really affordable and it really just gets the job done. Once all my molding was cut, I actually cut some spacer blocks, one at four inch and one at two inches. And this is so that all of my spaces between the picture frame moldings are exactly equal. And it just makes it a lot easier to have a block that's the perfect size to slide across the wall and make sure that everything's in line. All right, so I'm gonna call this officially day one of this makeover. From here on out, this room is gonna look completely different. Today we're installing all of the moldings. It's gonna be amazing. I have my nail gun, my construction adhesive, my level, my measuring tape. I've got it all mapped out and ready to go. So hopefully this goes smoothly. I started over here on this back wall because this is the first wall you see when you walked in and I wanted to spend a little bit more time on it to make sure that it was perfect. You kind of have to do a little bit of eyeballing, a little bit of leveling to make sure that everything lines up with the elements around it, like the windows and the walls. So you pretty much line up your block at the bottom and always start at the bottom edge so that it's in line and level with the floor and your trim. From there, you can use your level and make sure that your vertical pieces are perfectly in line and stick them on with construction adhesive. You kind of have time to move them around and get them in the right place before you nail them on. So once you get the rhythm going of putting your spacers in, sliding it across so that everything is even, you can really get going and it moves pretty quickly. This was actually my first time using a nail gun. I bought a nail gun just for this and it's super easy to use. It's really powerful and definitely makes the job go a lot quicker. If you've ever looked into getting some wall paneling done like this professionally, you you know it can be so expensive, thousands of dollars. So doing this as a DIY project is saving my family a ton of money. So we're doing a chair rail four inches above the last piece of molding here, just so it matches the spacing at the bottom and everything is equally spaced. Now I'm going in with some wood filler and filling in all the gaps and holes where the nail gun was, where there's little gaps between corners and make sure that everything is seamless. Once I put this on, I can allow it to dry and then sand it down so we have a nice seamless finish. 
And the last step is to cockle these edges between the molding and the wall just to fill in that gap and make it look seamless. So it's officially day three of this makeover and today we're gonna to start painting. I'm so excited because I think this is gonna transform the space completely. We need to get rid of all the gold in there. It's too golden. We need to bring in some new colors, new tones, and kind of break up all the warmth in the space. This video is sponsored by Benjamin Moore and I'm gonna be using the Benjamin Moore Aura Bath and Spa Paint. It's perfect for any bathroom renovation because the paint stands up to any humidity in the air. It comes in a rich, beautiful matte finish and the line actually has 3,500 different colors to choose from. I know picking a paint color can kind of be a little intimidating. You want to make the right choice. So Benjamin Moore actually made that super simple. They have the color portfolio app and you can virtually try on paint colors. You can view virtual fan decks, you can save different color choices, and you can do this all in the comfort of your home. So for the bottom color and all of the moldings, I'm going to be using oil cloth. And I think this is such a unique color. It's kind of like a dusty, blue gray green and that's exactly what we use around the house to decorate with so a lot of the rugs around the house have this color in it a lot of the artwork pillows decorative features and i think it really works well with the warm tones I just finished putting on the first coat of paint and it has amazing coverage. You can't even see the color underneath. I'm just gonna end up doing a second coat just to really smooth everything out and make it look really seamless. But this color is incredible. It's so amazing how just switching up the color can drastically change up the look of the space. Since we're going full out with the color and detail on the bottom, I want to keep the top part light and airy and simple. So I'm gonna be using the color Crisp Linen. It's a nice warm white color in an eggshell finish. So if you're working on any bathroom makeover or any makeover in general, paint goes a really long way and makes a huge difference. So check out the link down below my description box to order Benjamin Moore paint or order any samples online through their e-store. Now we're taking on another DIY project for the mirror. I'm gonna be using the same trim piece that we used on the walls and building a frame to go around it so that it's really built in and integrated into the room. You just have to measure the size of your mirror and then cut pieces to fit that frame. I'm painting all of the trim pieces before installing them and I'm using a construction adhesive special for mirrors to install onto the frame. I'm also going to be taping it up just to hold it in place until it dries fully. Okay, no exaggeration, that was the easiest DIY ever. If you guys have something similar, which I bet you do, a lot of people have the builder grade mirrors, this is a super easy way of updating it and making it look a lot more finished and high end. I didn't have to buy a new mirror, this is amazing. I'm just gonna keep all of these tape pieces on for now so it really hardens and stays in place and then I can remove it and kind of finish up these edges. While this all dries, we're gonna work over here above the toilet and I'm gonna be putting in two floating shelves. We took that old shelving unit down, my mom really didn't like it anymore and she wants something a little bit more modern. So I found these shelves on Amazon. They came in this pack of three. It has this nice kind of pale wood finish which works perfectly with the flooring. It's really gonna add that warmth up onto the wall there and it comes with all the hardware to install it. These are 15 inches wide which are perfect for above the toilet. So it's the last and final day of this makeover. I am so excited. Today we're styling and decorating the bathroom and I'm really gonna be using a lot of functional pieces that are also decorative and that's the best way to decorate a bathroom. There's not much room in here so you have to really pick specific pieces that will go a long way and make a big impact on the space but also make it functional. So all of the decor pieces that I picked are really bringing in those warm tones from the floor and I think that's really gonna help warm up the space, tie together all the colors and tones in here and I think it's gonna make it all 
makes sense. These are from Unsplash. They're high res, they're free. All you have to do is pay for the printing fee. So it was $8 altogether to get these two printed. If you're looking for some artwork, this is a really affordable way of getting it done. And then I'm just gonna frame it in my Ikea frame. Are you guys excited to see it? We're really Very excited. excited. <laughs> okay, ready? Close your eyes. Okay, ready? Oh, goodness. oh wow, look at that. Holy moly. <laughs> that is stunning. I love Isn't the that color. so different? Look at this. That's oh, really nice. This... That's like really, really nice. Look at the mirror. Look at the, and the, the mirror. Oh, the mirror too. All oh. built in. All built in. That's your old mirror. Wow. Yeah. Oh my. Very impressive. Okay. And I have new artwork up, so it has that Mediterranean oh, nice. vibe. Venice. Yeah, nice. Venice. I know you guys like Venice. It kind of yeah. works in the floor. We got doorways because mom loves doorways. Oh, that's so nice. I can't imagine the amount of thought and effort that you put into this to make sure that you got it Look at how easy set this. up properly and in between the towel rack. It was a uh, lot of work. I'm I sure it was. That. But nothing changed. We have everything yeah. that we had before, but we oh. updated it and made it look so much prettier. Very, very elegant. It's very Isn't it? It's very, very bien. Do you guys nice. like it? I love but the color. Outstanding. This what color is amazing. I don't know how you picked it. I can just imagine people going, oh my God. You did a really beautiful job with the gold finish. Outstanding, Kristen. It's so cool, like, right? Congratulations. You're, I'm so proud of it. Hired. Oh, thank you. <laughs> These are really nice pieces, aren't they? Those are from yeah. Ikea. Really? Yeah. I just, I just love your little additions that you do. It just looks tastefully done. I didn't even notice these. Wow. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah, as you say, all sort of flows and matches. And yeah. It's so light and airy. I love it. I know. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So now, I, I just can't get over it. It makes you re-look at what you already had and you can see out. it's better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There you Incredible. Go. What do we owe you for this? Nothing but love. Uh, Great job. Thank, thank you. you. <laughs> okay, my parents absolutely love the bathroom. I'm so glad. I'm so thankful for them for trusting me with their home. I get to do so many different makeovers here and they always believe in me. They always trust that I'm going to do something that they're going to like and I'm just forever grateful for that. So thank you so much to my parents for letting me do this. And thank you so much to Benjamin Moore for sponsoring today's video. Again, this color is incredible. The paint was perfect and it really took this space to the next level. Anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this makeover and I hope that it inspires you to try something similar in your home. If you have a builder grade bathroom that looks similar to the before shot of this room, you can try the same kind of methods, do these different DIY projects to take your space to the next level. Let me know down below in the comments what you think of this space, what your favorite part is. Please let me know. And if you have any questions, definitely leave them in the comments below. I'll be answering as much as I can down there. If you enjoyed watching, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and hit that like button. And make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel so you don't miss the upcoming makeovers. Next, we're working on the kitchen dining space. Click that red subscribe button down below and make sure you guys have my notifications turned all the way on so you don't miss the upcoming videos. Love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.